Hi and welcome back to Danish Tube and this video called How to Express Emotions. Don't worry, I'm not going to give you any psychological or rather philosophical ideas about how to express yourself. I'm just going to go through some cool vocabulary and some simple phrases that you can use right away to express yourself. So it's going to be cool, I'm going to repeat myself a lot, but that will of course uh, help these uh, sentences and words to sink in. I'm going to say the word and the phrase in English first, then I'm going to say in Danish, and I'm going to give you uh, some some time so you can also repeat it to yourself. So, so join me in in reading these examples, read them out loud to yourself because that's also going to help you to memorize them. And by the end of it, you should have these words and phrases and sort of sentences stuck in your mind, and then you can just use them and switch them and mix them around as as you, yeah, as your emotions change. So here we go with the first one: happy. Happy. This guy looks pretty damn happy, wouldn't you say? So he is glel. Glel. He's glad. And he would say, "I am happy. I'm happy." Yai er glel. Yai glel. Or if he's not so happy, he might say, "Yai er ege so glel." Yai ek so glel. If he wanted to say that makes me happy or it makes me happy, he would say, "Dika, my glel. Dika, my glel." And lastly, if he wanted to expand upon that and say, "It's fantastic, it's amazing," he would say simply, "De er fantastisk. De er fantastisk. De er fantastisk." Nice. So this is going to be our structure. We're just going to do the exact same sentences for all the emotions, basically just changing them a little bit to fit. Okay. The next one is sad. Trist. Trist. I am sad. Jeg er trist. Ja trist. I'm not sad. Jeg er ikke trist. Ja, ik trist. It makes me sad. Det gør mig trist. Det gør mig trist. It's not good. Det er ikke godt. Det er ikke godt. Notice how I'm sort of reading them in a slowed version and a more normal version. All of these examples, when I say the words ja, er, in a naturally in a natural spoken Danish, you would sort of blend the two words to ja, er, ja, er. and the same with the last example here. Der er becomes der, der, ikke becomes ik, der ik, der ik got. So you can see almost those first three words get blended into one. So yeah, listen for this as we go through the rest of the examples. Unhappy. Of course, many words in Danish you can negate by putting u at the start or u. Ulukli, ulukli, unhappy. I am unhappy. Jeg er ulukli. Ja ulukli. I'm not unhappy. Jeg er ikke ulukli. Jeg er ikke ulukli. It makes me unhappy. Det gør mig ulykkelig. Det gør mig ulykkelig. And lastly, another word for if something is saddening, grieving, causes a lot of sadness. Det er sorgfuldt. Det er sorgfuldt. It's sad. Next one. Oh, she's sneezing. Hun nyser. Hun er syg. Sue. I'm sick. Jeg er Sue. Ja, Sue. I'm not sick. Jeg er ikke Sue. Jeg er ikke Sue. It makes me sick. Det gør mig Sue. Det gør mig Sue. And that's not in the way of like, oh, that makes me sick what he did. That's just like, you're sick, you're sneezing. It's sickening, or almost more like nauseating. Det er kvalmende. 
det er kvalmene. In Danish, when you feel uh, nauseous, then you have kvalme. Just as a side note. Angry. This guy has smoke coming out of his ears. He must be really pissed off. He is vril. Vril. I'm angry. Jeg er vril. Jeg er vril. I'm not angry. Jeg er ikke vril. Jeg er ikke vril. It makes me angry. Det gør mig vril. Det gør mig vril. It's angering. Maddening. Det er oprørende. Det er oprørende. Makes me want to rebel. Next one, sore is kind of also a bit like angry, but yeah, maybe a little softer. Maybe you're a bit mad. You're a bit bit upset in the way that somebody has done something to annoy you. You are sore. Sore. I'm mad. Jeg er sore. Jeg er sore. I'm not mad. Jeg er ikke sore. Jeg er ikke sore. It makes me mad. Det gør mig sore. Det gør mig sore. It's terrible. Awful. Det er skrækkeligt. Det er skrækkeligt. Next one. This guy has his fingers in his ears because he just doesn't care. He is indifferent. Lige glad. Lige glad. I don't care. Jeg er lige glad. Jeg er lige glad. This is a really interesting one because lige glad, you could say indifferent, but like people don't usually say I'm indifferent in English anymore. It kind of sounds a bit old-fashioned, right? So like I care, I don't care. But it's, this expression comes down very much to the context. So if I say jeg er ikke, jeg er ikke lige glad, like um, I'm not indifferent, that's kind of saying like I do care. You know, in the right context of maybe somebody's accusing you of not being interested or not caring and that you are lige glad. That is, that you don't care. So in that context, you'd say, jeg, jeg er ikke lige glad. Jeg er ikke lige glad. But when you say, I am indifferent, jeg er lige glad, that could be somebody says, hey, what do you want to eat tonight? And you're like, well, I don't mind, whatever. Jeg er lige glad. We can eat pizza, or we can eat whatever. In another context, you're having a fight with somebody, you might want to express like you know i don't i don't care about that right it needs to, this needs to happen or whatever i hope that makes sense uh, in which case your tone would define the context of being legal you might say yeah legal with more sort of enforcement you might even say yeah fucking legal it's very common to hear that <laughs> so i'm not indifferent yeah er ikke legal yeah ik legal Slow is kind of a tricky one to translate. I guess it's almost like lazy in a way. You know, it makes me indifferent. It makes me a bit lazy, not want to do anything. Det gør mig slow. Det gør mig slow. And the last one, again, it's kind of another synonym to slow. Ugiderligt. Det er ugiderligt. Det er ugiderligt. Almost like it's lazy. Next one, this guy looks super happy. You could say this is even happier than being happy if you are i hopla. I hopla. I am in hopla. Jeg er i hopla. Jeg hopla. I am not in hopla. <laughs> Jeg er ikke i hopla. Jeg er ikke i hopla. It makes me ecstatic. Det gør mig ecstatisk. Det gør mig ecstatisk. It's amazing. It's awesome. Det er herligt. Det er herligt. Det er herligt. So you notice we have quite a lot of synonyms, different ways to say different things. Uh, and that's really great when you can mix up your language. The next one, this guy does not look happy. And that's because he is scuffle. Scuffle. Mm. Disappointed. Scuffle. I'm disappointed. Jeg er scuffle. Jeg er scuffle. I'm not disappointed. Jeg er ikke scuffle. 
Jeg er ikke skuffet. It makes me disappointed. Det gør mig skuffet. Det gør mig skuffet. It's disappointing. Det er skuffende. Det er skuffende. Depressed. Deprimeret. Deprimeret. I'm depressed. Jeg er deprimeret. Jeg er deprimeret. I'm not depressed. Jeg er ikke deprimeret. Jeg er ikke deprimeret. It makes me depressed. Det gør mig deprimeret. Det gør mig deprimeret. It's depressing. Det er deprimerende. Det er deprimerende. Huh, this guy's scratching his head because he is confused. Farvel. Farvel. I'm confused. Jeg er farvel. Jeg er farvel. I'm not confused. Jeg er ikke farvel. Jeg er ikke farvel. It makes me confused. Det gør mig farvel. Det gør mig farvel. It's confusing. Det er forvirrende. Det er forvirrende. Okay, happy guy. Yes, bringing it back. This guy is excited. He is spent. Spent. Jeg er spent. Jeg er spent. I'm not excited. Jeg er ikke spent. Jeg er ikke spent. It makes me excited. Det gør mig spændt. Det gør mig spændt. It's exciting. Det er spændende. Det er spændende. Next one. Whoa, she is surprised. Overrasket. Overrasket. I am surprised. Jeg er overrasket. Jeg er overrasket. I'm not surprised. Jeg er ikke overrasket. Jeg er ikke overrasket. It makes me surprised. Det gør mig overrasket. Det gør mig overrasket. It's surprising. Det er overraskende. Det er overraskende. Ooh, this guy is a bit worried. Bekymret. Bekymret. I am worried. Jeg er bekymret. Jeg er bekymret. I'm not worried. Jeg er ikke bekymret. Jeg er ikke bekymret. It makes me worried. Det gør mig bekymret. Det gør mig bekymret. It's worrying. Det er bekymrende. Det er bekymrende. Irritated. Ugh. Irritated. Irritated. I'm irritated. Or annoyed. Jeg er irritated. Jeg er irritated. I'm not irritated. Jeg er ikke irritated. Jeg er ikke irritated. It makes me irritated. Det gør mig irritated. Det gør mig irritated. It's irritating. Det er irriterende. Det er irriterende. Inspired. Well, this guy has a lot of shit coming out of his head. He's super inspireret. Inspireret. I'm inspired. Jeg er inspireret. Jeg er inspireret. I'm not inspired. Jeg er ikke inspireret. Jeg er ikke inspireret. It makes me inspired. Det gør mig inspireret. Det gør mig inspireret. It's inspiring. Det er inspirerende. Det er inspirerende. Motivated. This guy was awesome. It was also hard to find a picture for this one. And this guy is like the most amazing mix of I'm working at the office, but I'm also a ninja and I'm motivated to do my work. <laughs> He is motivated. <laughs> 
motiveret. I'm motivated. Jeg er motiveret. Jeg er motiveret. I'm not motivated. Jeg er ikke motiveret. Jeg er ikke motiveret. It makes me motivated. Det gør mig motiveret. Det gør mig motiveret. It's motivating. Det er motiverende. Det er motiverende. Probably starting to see a pattern by now, right? Det gør mig. Det gør mig. You're remembering it. And under, under, under. These endings of the exciting, motivating, inspiring. All these words. Motiverende, inspirerende. And so on and so on. So you're starting to see some good patterns here. Next one is relaxed. Damn, she looks relaxed. She is auslappel. Auslappel. I'm relaxed. Jeg er auslappel. Jeg er auslappel. I'm not relaxed. Jeg er ikke auslappel. Jeg er ikke auslappel. It makes me relaxed. Det gør mig auslappel. Det gør mig auslappel. It's relaxing. Det er auslappende. Det er auslappende. Cool, cool. Next one is... Oh, the next one we have is a horny devil. Can you guess what it means? <laughs> well, it doesn't exactly mean horny because that would be literally. But it is kind of excited when your senses are awakened, but sort of in a sexual way that you are, you know, teased almost. So that could be by the smell of something or it could just be that you are sexually excited. In which case, you are pirl. Pirl. I'm excited. Brackets. Sexually. Jeg er pirl. Jeg er pirl. I'm not excited. Jeg er ikke pirl. Jeg er ikke pirl. It makes me excited. Det gør mig pirl. Det gør mig pirl. It's exciting. Det er pirrende. Det er pirrende. Haha, <laughs> frisk. Have some fresh basilicum right here. Fresk, fresh. So this is quite a funny one because in Danish people often say this when you're waking up. They might ask you if you are fresh. Hey, come on, are you fresh? Are you fresh? In which case, it just means like you know, are you feeling awake? Are you ready to take on the day? You might say, I'm fresh. Jeg er fresk. Jeg er fresk. I'm not fresh. Jeg er ikke fresk. Jeg er ikke fresk. It makes me fresh. Det gør mig frisk. Det gør mig frisk. Might be a shower or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> And it's refreshing, freshening, you might say. Det er friskende. Det er friskende. So that could be, yeah, the air outside, or it could just be a situation, something that someone has done differently than it's usually been done. It's refreshing. Det er friskende. Ooh, this woman has a challenge on her hands, and she is ulfodrel. Ulfodrel. She feels challenged. Jeg føler mig ulfodrel. Jeg føler mig ulfodrel. I don't feel challenged. Jeg føler mig ikke ulfodrel. Jeg føler mig ikke ulfodrel. It makes me feel challenged. Det får mig til at føle mig udfordret. Det får mig til at føle mig udfordret. Notice I've got a different way here to say that it makes me feel challenged. There are two ways. Here I've used the verb to feel, so it makes me feel challenged. So when you want to use a verb and say that something makes you feel something, um, you have to use this construction. Det får mig til at and put in the verb. So, I don't know, you might say, it makes me dance. Det får mig til at danse. Uh, makes me smile. Det får mig til at smile. Whereas before we had always adjectives, you know, that makes me happy, it makes me sad. Det gør mig uh, glad. Det gør mig trist. So it's just two ways to say the same thing. Last one. Um, it's challenging. Det er udfordrende. Det er udfordrende. What? This woman is so impressed. Imponeret. Imponel. Now we have an actual woman, because I couldn't find any cartoon woman that looked so impressed. I am impressed. Jeg er imponel. Jeg er imponel. I'm not impressed. 
Jeg er ikke imponeret. Jeg er ikke imponeret. That makes me impressed. Det gør mig imponeret. Det gør mig imponeret. It's impressive. Oh, that's impressive. Det er imponerende. Det er imponerende. Oh, træt. This guy is so træt. He's tired. I'm tired. Jeg er træt. Jeg er træt. I'm not tired. Jeg er ikke træt. Jeg er ikke træt. It makes me tired. Det gør mig træt. Det gør mig træt. It's tiring. Det er trætterne. Det er trætterne. To be bored. Here we have to use a verb here. And it's called at kede sig. At kede sig. I'm bored. Jeg keder mig. Jeg keder mig. Reflexive verb. I'm not bored. Jeg keder mig ikke. Jeg keder mig ikke. It makes me bored. Det får mig til at kede mig. Det får mig til at kede mig. Det får mig til at kede mig. Notice here I've used the deformer til at construction because we have the verb. It's boring. Det er kederligt. Det er kederligt. This is quite unique in Danish because in English you say I'm bored. But you cannot say jeg er kederlig. Well you can say it but that means you are boring. Not you are bored. So be careful. <laughs> you have to say jeg keder mig. If you're bored and det er kederligt. If it's boring, you can call another person killerly if you like, but just so you know, that's how it goes. Oh, well, we had tired and now we have exhausted. This guy is all metal. All metal. I'm exhausted. Jeg er all metal. Jeg er all metal. I'm not exhausted. Jeg er ikke all metal. Jeg er ikke all metal. It makes me exhausted. Det gør mig udmattet. Det gør mig udmattet. It's exhausting. Det er udmattende. Det er udmattende. Haha, <laughs> this guy looks super satisfied. He is tilfreds. Tilfreds. I'm satisfied. Jeg er tilfreds. Jeg er tilfreds. I'm not satisfied. Jeg er ikke tilfreds. Jeg er ikke tilfreds. It makes me satisfied. Det gør mig tilfreds. Det gør mig tilfreds. It's satisfying. Det er tilfredsstillende. Det er tilfredsstillende. Oh, shocked. He is completely shocked. Chokeret. Chokeret. I'm shocked. Jeg er chokeret. Jeg er chokeret. I'm not shocked. Jeg er ikke chokeret. Jeg er ikke chokeret. It makes me shocked. Det gør mig chokeret. Det gør mig chokeret. It's shocking. Det er chokerende. Det er chokerende. Notice here the C and the H is pronounced like a SH, like a S and a H in English. Shokil. So the word shock is actually kind of the same. You spell it differently, but you kind of say it the same. Shokil. Shocked. And that brings us to the end of my lovely list about emotions. I hope that you found it useful. Uh, you can see that there's a nice simple pattern and simple phrases that you can use to express any emotion that you might be feeling. Be sure to let me know in the comment section below if you know any other words and phrases around emotions. If there are any emotions I didn't include, let me know below. Otherwise, give me a like. Remember to subscribe if you didn't already. And see you again in the next video. Vsace. Hi hi.